Hi everybody, Pastor Vitz here. Thanks for joining me for another edition of Life Lifters. Our whole purpose on Life Lifters is to give your life a lift through a five minute blast of encouragement and scripture. You know, um, a few times ago on Life Lifters, I talked about the most famous verse in the book of Philippians and we've been going through the book of Philippians and, and looking at um, the subject of joy. And today I wanna to talk to you about uh, perhaps the second most famous verse in Philippians, and it's Philippians 4.19. And I want to talk to you about joy and God's ability to meet your needs. Philippians 4.19 says this, And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. My God will meet all of your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Now this verse has been used... Um, by a lot of people in a lot of ways that don't really match with Scripture. First of all, when he says, and my God will meet all of your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus, who was he talking to? Well, if you listen to my last Life Lifters, he was talking to people who gave to his ministry, people who were trying to live for God, trying to live for, for Jesus. And he said, those kind of people, God will meet all of your needs. And so sometimes people go, I don't know why Jesus doesn't meet all of my needs. And the question I have to ask back is, are you living for Jesus? Or is he really the center of your life? No, he's gracious and he does a lot more than we deserve. That's for sure. But I know this, the context of that verse where God will meet all of my needs comes in response to people who are faithfully doing God's will, giving generously to Paul and living the Christian life. The second misinterpretation is that, that God will meet all of my needs and then we turn needs into greeds. God, I need a new car like this. God, I need that house. God, I need that pool. God, I need that man or woman. God, I need, and, and here's the thing, some of the stuff you think you need, it's not a need, it's a greed. The Bible does not say, and this verse does not teach, that God will meet all of your needs as determined by us uh, which needs are our real needs. Sometimes what we think our needs are greeds. My God, Paul says, will meet all of your needs. What do you really need? What do you really need? God will meet it. Now, here's what I do know about God. God meets way more than my needs. He, I'm sure, meets way more than your needs. But that's not what this verse says. He'll meet all of my needs. So that's the second thing. First, again, that it's, it's written to Christians who are already given generously and are already living the Christian life. Second, it's written to meet our needs, not meet our greeds. And then the third thing is this. God, my God, the verse says, my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ. Now, how glorious and rich is Jesus Christ? Well, he's God. He's been resurrected from the dead. He's got a glorified body. He's returned back to the Trinity in heaven, back to his original glorious abode, and he will come back one day. How glorious and rich is Jesus Christ? You have a number in mind? It's more. You have another number? It's more than that. Here's the number. It's infinite. There is no number. It's, it's infinite. That's how rich Jesus Christ is. So here's what I want to say. The first two parts... My God will meet all of your needs. He said that first to people who are living for Christ. So if you've got sin in your life, you've got things going on in your life, there's a possibility it can squelch that. Second, some of the things we think are needs are not really needs, they're greeds. If it's a need, that's the second thing. Watch this. When it matches those two things, guess what God does? He's rich. That's when he gives us way more than we need or deserve. He's glorious in his riches in Christ Jesus. That's why we live in America. We, live, we are blessed beyond belief. God has blessed us beyond belief. You know, in America, we're the richest nation in the world. We're blessed beyond belief. No other nation has the prosperity we have. And God blesses us to be a blessing, but that's for another message. But here's all I want to say. Isn't that an amazing promise that God will meet all of our needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus? Do you have your needs met? Thank God every day. Count your blessings. Name them one by one as the old hymn goes. Every day you ought to get up and, and at least spend 10, 15, 20 moments and just say, thank you for this house. 
Thank you for this bed. Thank you for this food. Thank you for my kitchen. Thank you for my office. Thank you for my car. Thank you for my workplace. Thank you for my paycheck. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my spouse. Thank you for my boyfriend or girlfriend. Thank you for my college degree. Thanks for the teachers I had at my college. Thank you for my neighbors. Thanks that I live in a clean neighborhood. Thanks that I live uh, next to people who are kind. Thanks that I work with good people. Thanks that I'm outside in September. <laughs> There's a lot of things you can thank God for. And God wants us to spend our time thanking him because he meets all of our needs. I hope that helps you have a heart of appreciation because he meets all of our needs. Father, thank you so much that you meet all of our needs, not our greeds, according to your riches and glory and according to, to some degree, how we're living for you and how faithful we are to you. Thank you for doing this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks and have a great day.